Hi everyone, welcome back to you, me and the family, or if you're new here, welcome. Hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four, ranging from 15 years down to a two-year-old, and we live in the southeast of England. Today, I have my weekly shopping haul for you, and I've put in the community posts for you all to tally up or choose where I do my weekly shop today, and the majority ruled of it being Aldi. So... I've been to Aldi and I regretted it because it was chaotic in there and they really did not have very much fresh fruit and veg at all and what I did get wasn't exactly the best quality so I might have to do a little infill shop during the week to get a bit more fresh fruit and veg but nevertheless I still ended up managing to spend £150 but in my defence there I have got a few Christmas presents and a few bits to put by for Christmas as well. So I've got a copy of the receipt here to show you everything. But I have also wrote the prices on all the items so that you can see how much oh drop the receipt. How much this these items cost at the beginning of December 2022. I'm saying that because everyone knows at this time inflation prices are going up through the roof and if you watch this video say next year prices might if we're lucky have dipped down or they might have doubled we do not know but I wrote the prices on everything if you can't see the price of anything and I don't tell you it by all means write it in the comments I'll be happy to fill you in on what it, what it costs so I'm going to start over this section and then I'll work my way across my kitchen counter. Okay, so what we've got here is all the crisps and the bread products. I saw these as well as um, they had another flavour, um, spicy. They're new, as it says right in the corner. This is the Saucy Nibbly Nibbles. And I'm guessing these are like knickknacks. It's a biggish bag, so I'd say that's two portions, but... Steve likes these, like knickknacks, so we thought we'd get these for him to try. Tell me if they're a good copy version. I got some lentil chips for the kids to try. Six in a pack and they're barbecue flavour. I thought these would be a nice alternative to usual crisps or popcorn and stuff. They were one twenty nine, And I don't know if I said these were at 75p, as you can see there. I had to write it with a red Sharpie pen so that you could see. I got a big packet of the Stack Right, uh, sorry, Snack Right crisps, 30 in a pack. And then you get the ready salted salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, and prawn cocktail. They didn't have any of the meat feasty flavours this time, so I just got them. I got some cheese puffs for Nathan, 10 in a pack, £1.25. And then Nathan's usual. Um, chocolate chip brioche loaves little little rolls he goes doesn't go every day ugh, i'm not getting my words out he doesn't go a day without having one of these he absolutely loves them and it's a great way to get some sort of carbs into him got three packets i'll keep one out and the other two will go in the freezer ready for me to pull out for when he needs a replenish of them on the kitchen counter and then Steve was with me. He tried to um, take a little stroll around the supermarket. But he's wiped out now because he's still recovering. So he's asleep on the sofa while I record this. But he picked up two loaves of the chocolate chip sliced brioche. So again, one for the freezer and one to stay out. And then when one gets to the end, we'll pull the other one out of the freezer. Um, one of the meals tonight is... Uh, not tonight, this week... Chloe has chose curry, so I've bought two garlic and coriander naan breads, like two packets, there's two in each packet. And then at the back, this is the Christmas presents that I got. You guys might not think it's a very good present, but it's just a little stocking filler really. They're the um, flask thermoses, where you can have hot or cold in them. I've got one each for the kids, obviously the blue one's for Shane. I don't know which one the girls are going to choose. They'll probably end up sharing them anyway. But they were four ninety nine each and I, I fell in love with them. I love this one. I might end up getting another one and using that. And then I fell in love with this and Steve said I could get another Christmas decoration. 
it's a great big lantern and as you can see it's got snowflakes on they did have red and gold as well and then they did have um stags and reindeers but i went with this one because silver is my color i prefer silver rather than gold and red and we've kind of got the snowflake theme going on that was 7.99 so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put one of my big fake candles in there so it all shines through nice at night time i got two packets of the raisin and cranberry fruit mix because i'm going to do some rocky roads for the kids and they were one pound 15 and it's a nice mixture rather than just having raisins it's got the raisin sultanas cranberries and all that lot in uh one packet of the white chocolate bonds um this was with a milky filling and chopped hazelnuts I thought they said 99p on the display, but they're actually 199, which I'm not completely very happy with. I wouldn't have paid 199, but it was too chaotic to take them back, so I got them, and then I got the milk chocolate as well. These will be going in the Christmas cupboard, ready for closer to Christmas, because I won't be bringing all the Christmas food yet, because otherwise it will be gone before the big day. Um, some rainbow dots they're like jelly tots they were 85p i thought these would be good for when we do some we're going to make some little snowmen milk i'm going to put some marshmallows on a cocktail stick dip it in white chocolate and then pipe some faces on so they're little snowmen and i thought these would be good for their noses three packets of the mini marshmallows some for the hot chocolates and then some for the um rocky road that i plan on making they were one pound five p 10 bars of the white chocolate that was 33p and 10 of the milk chocolate because again um rocky road and then i'm going to do some other baking with the kids and that as well coming up to christmas i got nathan two packets of the raspberry and blueberry rice cakes they're 79p I keep trying to get them from Tesco's when they're on offer, but they never have the strawberry flavour, and he does like the berry-flavoured stuff, so that's why I got them. As well as I got him, I don't know if these are new or not, but I've never seen them. The Organic Mamiya Little Adventures Strawberry and Banana Flavoured Mini Biscuits. They were £1.19, so I think he'll like them. And then down underneath it, I've got some fats. I've got the wag Wagyu. Um, I think it's like beef dripping. Yeah, British beef. Um, so that's two jars of the beef dripping and then two of the goose fat, which are underneath. The beef one was one ninety nine each and then the goose was two twenty nine. They're going to go in the cupboard for our Christmas season for the roast potatoes and stuff. And then I got two packets of the squidgy pouches fruit yogurts. You get two strawberry and two raspberry. I thought they'd be great for Hayley for her pack lunches and for Nathan to have at home as well. I got his usual pork cocktail sausages. They were one seventy nine. So I don't know if I said the um, squidgies were eighty five p for the four. And then we will go across to here. Again, I don't know if these are new or not, but I picked them up because I thought they'd be great. I think these are sort of like um, Colin the Caterpillar from uh, the Marks and Spencers. They're kind of copying that a little bit with the Caterpillar. But they're little chocolate biscuits in a packet, individual. So I thought they'd be great for pack lunches. And then they have some little girly versions as well. And you get five in a pack, like five packs in there. And they were only 85p. So I got two packets of the mythical rollers and then two packets of the cuffbook rollers. Steve picked up some of his caramel wafer biscuits. We've been trying cheaper versions, but he says you can't beat these ones. So he's picked them up and he's going to hide them in the cupboard so the other kids can't get them. £1.60 for eight. I got two packets of the short crust pastry for quick and convenience to make jam tarts and mince pies and stuff now that it's the baking season. They were £1.5. And then I did get some puff pastry as well because I do like um, 
like you can see here some like lattices like slices and stuff and I plan on make I've got some tinned fruit that needs using up so I'm going to make some of them I got some cooked ham for pack lunches. We got the dry cured British ham, 14 slices for 2.29. Sorry, the glare above. And then we got the British breaded ham as well, 14 slices for 1.59. That's for sandwiches and pack lunches. I do apologise for the glare. It's a very dark, wet day here in the southeast of England, and I've got this all out in my kitchen side, and I've got the light and above, so it's a bit of a glare. So I do apologise. Um, two packets of carrots, 145 each, self-explanatory, Sunday roast and during the week. A whole chicken, that is for our Sunday dinner. I've got to get that on in a minute because Hayley has requested for her meal of the week a chicken roast. I picked up four, five packets of the apple snacks. There's one there and then there's the other ones down there. They're 39p. They are for Shane for his pack lunches because of his brace. He can't just bite into an apple. So they're the easiest way I can get apple into his pack lunches. I got two packets of these Jammy Jack mini bites. These are absolutely gorgeous, guys. I got them a couple of weeks ago in a Aldi haul. They had like 30% off. And I fell in love with them. I'm not a big oats, like flapjack lover. But these are gorgeous. They've got jams like sandwiched in the middle. But it's not just smooth jam. It's got big chunks of berries and fruit in it as well. So I picked up two of them. They are 149 each. And as you can see, I've already started on them. Whoops. <laughs> Mum deserve a treat every now and then, don't you girls? Um, two packets of the Crave cereal. They are 105 each at the moment. For Hayley for, for breakfast. Parsnips, I've got two bags because I am having stew and dumplings one night this week. 62p. A tiny, I mean tiny head of cauliflower here. I mean you can't even see it, it's there. I'd say it's not much bigger than a tennis ball. But that was 99p. We've got Nathan's Mountain of Bananas at the back there. He has to have a banana a day at least. £2.38 they all cost me. I tried to get some sort of green ones and some, some yellow ones. He's already had two already. Had to keep him happy while we're shopping. Two cucumbers, 69p each. Self-explanatory, pat lunches and sandwiches. Nathan's blueberries, wonky ones, 99p, two of them. A swede for um, our stew, 65p. Red grapes. 175 right i really don't know why the price of grapes are so varied around the uk like here they're 175 tesco's they're what they range from 125 up to two pound a pack but in asda you can get two packs for two pound why are they so varied in price it really does confuse me but i like to pack, pack i like putting grapes in the kids pack lunches so I got one pan it and then hopefully I can pick up some cheaper ones during the week. Um, cartons of juice at the back here. I picked up two apple juices for Chloe, 85p. A pineapple one Steve fancied. Four cartons of the orange juice because we're still trying to get Steve back to health and the doctor says to keep on top of his, his vitamin C, 85p. And then to get his energy levels back up as well, he's trying these isofix drinks, or isotonic drinks, sorry, 125 rather than the Lucasade ones that are like £3 for four now. So he's going to try them. Uh, I've got a bottle of apple and blackcurrant squash at the back, 89p. I've got two of the Lecura shampoos. The mineral clay. Normally, Chloe has the LV clay, mineral clay. But obviously, I went to Aldi, so I'll try this. She gets very greasy hair at the top. So we try all different types of shampoo to prevent that. But she likes this one at the moment, as well as the L'Oreal. So 85p. Couldn't find any conditioner. So I just picked up two of them. 
Um, <laughs> the tuna. Yeah. The reason it's with all the pet supplies is this this sec this um, pile of tuna is aimed for my cats. It's not the best. You shouldn't feed your cat tuna every day. But it's a nice treat for my cats. And I do have five of them. So I picked up ten tins. And I do have a pregnant queen on my hands as well again now. So we are giving her all the goodness she can get. As well as all her multivitamins and minerals that we give her. But she does like a tin of tuna as well. So that's there. Um, feminine products. They are, you can't beat the price here. 69p for a pack. And I just get the super, and then I got two of the maxi as well. Try and shadow on all different types of canned dog food because she is very finicky. She doesn't like the same dog food day in, day out. So we are trying a multiple different types of brands. And where we're still kind of battling cancer or in remission, but hoping it doesn't come back, she goes up and day up and down with her eating. So we will just try so many different brands and we'll do anything to get her to eat. So this week we are trying the Aldi's version of Meaty Chunks in Gravy. I got two packets of them, $3.69 each. And then I thought I would try for my old girl, uh, my old tabby, um, the Senior Pouches from Aldi. They did have two different three different types of pouches of kit of cat food they had this one a slightly cheaper one which was 259 and then a dearer one which was 299 but i got the middle price one to see if she'll like it rather than the kitten food that she keeps eating that is not good for her you know adults cats shouldn't be eating kitten food it's not the best but hopefully we can try her with them um dog biscuits dog treats um, 99p each we get shadow the gravy bones and then the marrow rolls down there they go in her biscuit barrel by the front door for every time we have company she gets a treat she should she should be a heifer she should be the size of a cow the amount of treats she gets but she really doesn't skinny old german shepherd i'm afraid a big packet of nappies 4.79 Two packets of ibuprofen because Steve being ill has depleted my stockpile of paracetamol and ibuprofen over the last two weeks. And he's still taking them regularly so I've got to start buying them again. 39p for 16 tablets so I've got two packets of them. The Mamiya wet wipes. Six times 60 in a pack in a box. 349 We still prefer these rather than all the supermarket ones. Two packets of the large, or oh, sorry, medium zip seal bags. Because obviously doing baking, we're doing a lot of, um, need a lot of containers to put them in. And I've had to go through my Tupperware drawer to throw loads out. Because we've got all the um, missing lids or lids that don't match the bottoms. And it does my head in. So we've been using sandwich bags instead. Two of them. They were 125 Kitchen foil. 68p because obviously we've got the christmas meat and all that to start cooking soon and i've got a button on the kitchen side there's buttons what are you doing up there get down get down good girl yes hang on i'll give you some she knows there's tuna how do they know that it's not even out the tin and they know there's tuna about and then <laughs> Because my babies, I love them. They've got a few little treats as well for Christmas. Yes, I do buy my animals Christmas presents. They've got some porcelain pockets with chicken flavour and salmon. They are 69p, which beats the price of Whiskers and Felix and stuff. So they will be going in the um, Christmas cupboard for the cats. So I think that is everything I've shown you. If I've not explained anything or I've not said the price of anything, please just write down in the comments and I will get back to you straight away with the prices. As well as this slot, I did have to nip into Tesco's quickly to grab some milk because Aldi didn't have any and we needed some for Nathan. And while I was in there, 
I saw that they had their beef joints down to half price or six pounds a kilogram for um club card uh, real club card owners so oh, ignore my washing up I picked up three joints which will be going in my freezer ready for Christmas and then throughout the year as well because I buy meat joints when they're on offer so that they don't cost us so much throughout the year and then we so we got this one which would have been 16.94 was down to 8.47 that will do us more than two meals that will same as this one this was 10.21 that will do us probably two three meals but what I'll do is I'll cook it in one joint and then um divvy it out keep it in the fridge and then use it throughout the week as well whereas this one is a very large one it's 12.91 would have cost 25.90 uh, 82 so that will probably I'll probably cut that in half before I freeze it and then that will still do us multiple meals as well so if you can afford to do this I really do recommend it buy your meat when it's on offer and then store it in the freezer because prices of meat is going to go up and up and up so that's why i've done that and then i've got two of the full fat whole milk six pinters two of them so that is everything that i bought today sorry about okay i have got the aldi magazine to show you what offers are going to be coming into the store as of thursday i do apologize nathan has got hold of it while i was looking so he has ripped it a little bit so I'll flip through quickly now for all the people that would like to see what's coming available. And for all our lovely viewers that aren't in this country, they like to see what offers we get around here as well. So as it's coming up Christmas, we've got the Christmas season. So they're bringing out all their festive alcoholic drinks. So I try and do this one handed turning pages ain't easy. I do like this. I saw this in Aldi at the moment. It's a clementine gin, but at the bottom of it, it lights up as well, which is really pretty. And then we've got our crackers and advent calendars. Like alcoholic advent calendars. And then we've got some gifts, gift ideas. Nathan has took a liking to Paw Patrol. So we are really going to get thinking about getting in one of these. It's like a little um, musical instrument table. As you can see, it's got a little drum, a tambourine and all that lot. But it's Paw Patrol. So we really think he's going to like that. So chance I will be getting that for him for Christmas. As well as some slippers. He absolutely loves Paw Patrol and he loves wearing shoes. So we might be getting in them if we can get him in his size. And then we've got some more toys. You've got Pokemon, Hot Wheels. Might be getting Nate a few of these because he loves playing with wheels. Some books. Bath bomb sets. Barbies. Pampering products, a nice mirror with lights around it, hair straighteners, a LED face mask. Mm. I think Chloe would still prefer the face masks that we buy her. More hair products to curl your hair this time. Another mirror that lights up. Shampoos and conditioners. Teeth whitening stuff. aftershave Christmas floral displays oh look here comes all like the fun and games that you can get for Christmas Day inflatable family game put a reindeer set on and hoop it card games these are going to be available from Sunday the 11th of December Then we've got a few festive favourites, the chocolates and everything. And then we've got the 
Super 6, which will be on offer next week. Or this week now, sorry. Broccoli, new potatoes, apples, lemons, satsumas and romaine lettuce. And then their meat selections. And then some more alcohol on the back. So that is that. That is the end of my video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you haven't done so already, would love to have you part of the YouTube family. I have hit over 800 subscribers, guys, and I am so, so chuffed. Thank you so much for becoming a follower of what I do. It really does mean a lot. But I am going to say it. I am still trying to reach for that massive goal of a thousand subscribers by Christmas. So if you do like what I do and haven't done so already, please subscribe. It really would mean a lot and it would make my Christmas and year extra special. So I will leave you to get on with your day. I will quickly insert at the end of this video our meal plan for the week so you can follow on and we'll see if I can actually get seven out of seven with sticking what with the meal plan this week so take care and i will see you later bye okay for our meal plan this week i've wrote them all down i'm not 100 percent sure if this is going to be the order they go in but they will be what we have this week so i've put shepherd's pie for monday stew and dumplings on tuesday the chicken curry is probably one of the ones that will stay that way because I can have it cooking all day in the slow cooker and then Hayley and Nathan will have sausage and mash at snap that night and then we come home and then the curry will be cooked for us. Um, chicken Kiev's and chips on Thursday. Pork chops, veg and spuds on Friday. Homemade fish and chips on Saturday. And then a roast dinner of some sort on Sunday. So that is our meal plan for the not for the week. Let's see if I can stick with seven out of seven for the planned meals. So I will see you again this week. See you then.